Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. I'm very happy to be here today to talk about a deploy a Rancher server on Alibaba Cloud. So together with me, my daughter, Luisa, she is studying at uh, university on computer science. Let, let's start from uh, why SUSE Rancher? Hello, I'm Luisa and going to talk a bit about SUSE Rancher. So on the left, you see that according to Forrester, SUSE was a wave leader in 2020 and the new wave leader in 2018. And in the chart, you can see it is placed in the top right. So it's one of the best performers. And on the top right here, you can see a poll that was conducted on my dad's LinkedIn. So out of the people who knew about Rancher, it had 88% say that they really liked it. So you can see its popularity. And on the bottom right, it is a poll about asking favorite Kubernetes distributions. And Rancher has done very well being the second most favorite with 29%. So the links on the bottom can take you to the original and now there's three easy steps to install Rancher server. So step one would be preparing a Linux host. Step two, installing the Docker. And then with that open ISCSI and finally the MSS client. Step three will be starting the server with the code that is seen below. After that will be accessing the Rancher server on UI via the IP and retrieving the Docker for the token for the web UI access is last but not least. So now I have hand back to my dad, Yong Kong, for the demonstration. Thanks, Louisa. So I'm actually, I don't want to do step by step. So I want to automate the whole process. So basically, if you're using the automation by Terraform, you only need about three minutes. Uh, we're going to automate the uh, creation of uh, ECS, that's the Elastic Computer Server on Alibaba Cloud. We're going to create an ECS based on Ubuntu VM. And we will also automate the installation of a Rancher on the Ubuntu VM. And after the installation, you're going to see the output of the URL and also the token code for the Rancher UI access. But if you already have a Ubuntu VM, you actually only need to run the scripts, which is I included the link here. I will include the link in the comments area as well. So you can go to the GitHub page, just download the launcher for your one, the shell scripts you run from your Ubuntu VM. We will install launcher on your existing VM. So let me jump to my VS Code. Actually, first of all, let me show you from Alibaba Cloud. Right now from the console, I only have one VM. That's not the one I'm going to use for the demo. So I jump to my VS Code and from here, I just run a command tf-deploy. Uh, so by running this command, we're going to automate the creation of the ECS cluster and also install the launcher server on that uh, Ubuntu VM. So the whole step, it might take uh, about uh, three minutes. I'm gonna pause here until the creation finish. All right, let's continue. As you can see, the Terraform is still, you know, uh, building the environment. So uh, on the top of the screen, you might have noticed that's the shared scripts. So we're going to, uh, install the Docker, install Open iSCSI, and also NFS client on the Ubuntu. And after the installation, we're going to run the you know Docker run. That's the main command actually to you know start up the Rancher server. And uh, the Docker logs command to get you the token code. Okay, let me come back to the slide deck. Yeah, while we are still building the environment, let me show you a little bit more reference links. So first of all, you can check 
follow the link here to see which Linux platform are supported. There are all different flavors of the Linux supported to run Rancher. And the second link, get started with Rancher. And the follow by the last one, uh, that's the automation script that I created to install Rancher on your Ubuntu VM. So coming next, I'm actually planning to run another you know, video, to create another video to show you how to build an RKE cluster. That's one of the popular Kubernetes distribution. So Rancher Kubernetes engine cluster by the Rancher UI and followed by to show you how to back up the containers, run your own RKE, how to migrate the containers. It could be from other distribution, Kubernetes distribution to RKE. And last but not least, uh, I'm also trying to create another video to show you how to manage the multi clusters, could be R uh, you know, RKE, EKS, DKE, or AKS, et cetera. So let me come back to the slide, uh, to the console to see. Yeah, actually, my Alibaba Cloud console just timed out. So let me log in now. But once I log in, I will switch to the VS Code to see if the job is finished. Yeah, as you can see now, we actually already have another ECS, that's the Elastic Computer Server created. That's the one named as uh, ECS for your one, and you got the IP address. It's for CPU 16 gig memory. So now it should be ready. Yeah, it is. So by the end of the scripting, you're expecting to see, we actually totally created 10 resources. So here is your IP address, and here is a runter web UI, uh, web URL. And on the bottom, you can see that's the bootstrap password. So I double click, copy the token, and then I can click the URL to launch the uh, Rancher UI. So let me move the screen to this window here. So first time logging, you will be asked to provide the password. So I click advanced, proceed, and uh, then paste the password here. Let me make it bigger. So you can see welcome to Rancher and I paste the password here, click login. So for some login, it gives you the option to change your password. So you want to make a, a complex password that you can remember. So most likely you want to agree the terms and the conditions, otherwise you want to be able to continue. So I click continue. Now we log into the Rancher UI. That's the multi-cluster management. So behind the scene, the service may be not fully ready yet. That's why I need to click again to proceed. So here we go. We log into the Rancher web console. And you can see I got the local cluster. That's my management cluster. And if I click the Hamburg menu icon here, you can see I got a cluster management. So if I click the class management, I can show you. So basically with uh, SUSE Rancher, you can do multi-class management. Uh, if you already have the cluster running from or anywhere else, so let me show you. You, got, you can either click uh, import existing cluster or create a new cluster. Let me start from import existing. So you can see from here, uh, by default, you do have the access. You can import your existing Amazon EKS, Azure AKS, or Google GKE, or maybe any other generic uh, Kubernetes cluster. Let me cancel this one. For now, I'm not going to show you how to import existing cluster, just to create uh, to show you how to create a cluster via Rancher Web Console. But that's the next session. I will record it to show you how to create a Rancher RKE cluster. But for now, let me show you. After you click Create, you actually do have multiple options. You can create an Amazon EKS, Azure AKS, Google GKE, or you can create an RKE on top of the Amazon EC2 instance, Azure Virtual Machine, 
or digital ocean virtual machine or by the harvest provider, Lino provider or vSphere, VMware vSphere provider. If you are going to create the RKEs, you can also use the custom option to create an RKE cluster. Uh, that is pretty much all I want to cover for today. So let me come back to the slider here. So just to share you a few links. So if you are interested to automation, how to automate the GKE cluster on Google Cloud, AKS on Azure Cloud, EKS on AWS Cloud, OpenShift on IBM Cloud, or ACK cluster on Alibaba Cloud. Here's a few links to show you how you can automate the whole process. It only take like a minute. And additional information, I'm actually very passionate about the Kubernetes. I built a lot of the video, created a few videos to show you how to create a popular Kubernetes cluster. That's the first link. And how once you create the Kubernetes cluster, how to back up the containers. Here is another link. How to migrate the containers between different Kubernetes distribution. That's a third link. Last but not least, how to automate the Kubernetes cluster and also protect the containers. I think that's pretty much all I want to cover for today. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it is useful to you. And thank you. And please, if you're interested in more similar content to subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Once again, bye.